Hey church, my name is Justin, I'm from uh, Central Campus uh, and I'm on the worship team. Um, so I get the uh, incredible privilege of being able to lead you guys in worship and, and also in North and in South as well. Sometimes when I'm, uh, when I'm allowed out, um, I get to come and, uh, and do that with you guys as well. And it's, uh, it's a brilliant privilege to be able to, to do that with, with you guys. Um, today I've been asked to share um, a little bit about my mission and my uh, and our influence as, as a church. Um, and our our mission as a church is to to see people come to know Jesus. Is to to see people um, people's lives completely changed by the power and presence of God. Um, and as a as a cross centric faith, as a as a Jesus centered group of people, um, we can't live a life without people going. What have you got? What's what's there's something totally different about you, um, and people being being influenced by the presence of God and the spirit of God that is on us in, in every every situation. Three of those kind of situations that I find myself in quite a lot is, um, one is when I'm on a building site or on a roof with uh, with contractors and with, with builders and with, with people that are working with and for me. Um, it's it's really easy in those locations uh, and situations for, for us to talk about Jesus, to invite people to church, to point to the cross um, when we say what we see. When we say what we see, if if um, if you're in a situation which I was in not not so long ago, where one of one of the contractors that was on site looked really really upset, he was going through some stuff at home. Um, it's very very easy to enter a conversation there, um, make a little excuse to tidy up at the side of the the roof like I was doing, and and had a really a really good long conversation with him um, about how how Jesus loves him, even though he's going through some really crazy things, and and to lift people from from their from their hurt and their pain is just the type of thing where that that Jesus Jesus was doing when he walked the earth it, you, it, it, it's you can imagine him in in his day-to-day -day life where he's leading people um to a place of repentance and a place of right relationship um one of the other types of um, places where we can share our faith is is in the day-to-day -day in the office where we're where we're where we're meeting the same people or in the warehouse where we're meeting the same people again and again and again the, the school run kind of um, relationships and the influence that we have on those people is is slightly different you may feel slightly more under the microscope more like oh, you've got to be squeaky clean to lead people to jesus in in those in those situations the the truth is you don't jesus uses us whatever whatever state we're in um, you can't go so far that you can't be touched by God as well as you can't go too far that you can't be used by God. Um, and he will he will get to his people and to the people that he needs to to see saved and influenced. He will he will do that. And one of the really easy ways I've found is is when we've got an invitation and when we've got the light party, I've got them on my on my desk at work. When we've got the, the Christmas stuff, I'll play a Christmas song. And as soon as I hear somebody in the warehouse or somebody on the building site singing the Christmas songs, I'm like, come on, you must love mince pies if you're singing those songs. Come and sing with us at church. Come and come and come and uh, come and sing those with us. We have a we have a really good time. Um, and, and that's one way of, of influencing people is just that really gentle invitation. Just like just like Jesus with Zacchaeus. Hey, you, I'm coming to your house for tea. We don't have to be that that forward, but we can be in our own right. Come on. Hey, here, here's a flyer. Here's an invite. Here's a link. Let me send you this. Let me send it you on WhatsApp. It's really, really easy to to have those light conversations, those light invitations. To we, We're still pointing people to Jesus. We're still going to see that person eventually make a decision and, and, and say the sinner's prayer. But we're further back. We are we are sowing the seed, so to speak. We're watering it and somebody else is going to reap it in years time or in weeks time or even in months time or even in minutes time. Hey, who knows with some of the situations we find ourselves in. Um, in one of the other situations where we um, where I find myself quite a lot, with, especially with two little boys, these two crazy two, um, is when we when we're when we're out and about, when we're when we meet complete strangers um, an example of that is when we took them to the skateboard park and I'm sat on a on a park bench with a with a lady got into a really really good conversation um, about how we both wished we could have five more minutes with people who were near and dear and and I think that we get opportunities to point people to Jesus and we get opportunities to share our faith um, through vulnerability as well and the 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 really cool thing i like about sharing faith with a with a complete stranger is is that they they are sometimes a lot more open because then they know they're not going to see you again 
um, and the, you may never see them. You may bump into them in church in six more time. Who knows? But the the opportunity is one of those that are, you can't miss. You, you you can't. You don't want to miss any of those opportunities. Whether it's whether it's a chance meeting in a workplace, whether it's a re recurring in invitational type situation, or whether it's the one off kind of invitation invitations and conversations that we have. And I and I think in in Luke eight twenty four where um where Jesus is where Jesus is in the boat with the disciples and he calms the storm with the sound of his voice I would love to believe church that we are going to see a season where with those perfect strangers with those invitations and with those on the roof conversations where we see the power and presence of God in the moment, where we say what we see, where we see somebody in hurt and in pain, and we say God can, God would like, God wants to comfort you in this season, and then we see that physically manifest right there with those people. I believe we're coming as a church into a time where we're going to see those incredible, powerful moves of God in and around every every situation on the school run when we get the opportunity to pray with somebody because we're saying what we see when when we're in the office with somebody and they come along and they're making those decisions and when we're out and about and we have that incredible opportunity to share our faith with a with a complete stranger and point them towards Jesus and and who know who knows how many incredible families and and people we're going to be able to influence through just sharing the love grace and and mercy of Jesus so I'm going to pray with you and, and then I'll let you get on with your day. But Jesus, thank you so much that you are interested in our day to day. Thank you, Jesus, that you give us the words to say in, in every situation. Thank you, Jesus, that you are faithful to complete the work that you've started in, in people's hearts and lives. And we thank you that we get to water the seed or plant the seed or see people come into a, a better and more fruitful relationship with you. Jesus, more than anything, keep us Keep us aware of your presence and aware of the, the nudge of your Holy Spirit to speak your words of love and grace and peace and kindness into the people that we bump into in our everyday life. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day, church.